What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is an awesome, awesome video about Call of Duty 4 Remastered. It is one of the most anticipated games of the year and it's it's a second release. Crazy, I know, we're paying for the same fucking game twice. It's gonna look a lot better though and today I want to tell you my top 5 most anticipated features of the new Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Before we get into that though, I want to give a big shout out to you guys, the subscribers, and just the, the you know, even the non-subscribed viewers. You guys made it possible for me to join a network that I've been wanting to join for a very, very long time. Even before I started YouTube, I love the network. It's just, it's got so many great features. I want you to guys, this is not, I'm not paid by them or anything, but I just want to give you guys a chance to go check it out. And uh, just because you guys have viewed so many of my videos, uh, I haven't even barely breached 100 subscribers and I have 13,000 views already um, I was allowed to join the curse network uh, this networks absolutely awesome I've loved it like I said even before I did YouTube uh, the capabilities that you can do on the curse uh, Union for gamers site is just awesome it's got like Skype features um, all these interactive features if you're a big uh, League of Legends player or World of Warcraft player it's got all these like capabilities to have in-game overlays so you can still look at you talk to your friends with like a very 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 attractive overlay just jump on their site check out their uh, their trailer they have for their for their network um, and so because of you guys I was able to partner with curse at only a hundred subscribers which is insane because you need 4,000 to even be eligible for them um, so thank you guys for that for all the views all the attention you guys have been giving my videos It's absolutely amazing. All right guys, so we're gonna break down five things today for you There's a couple subtopics in these five things I thought they were suited to be in the video and while we're doing this don't mind Bernice. She's still there She's still looking at the beautiful view we have here at the office. So uh, don't mind her. She helps out around the office I love it. She's an absolute doll. So Without further ado, let's get into it with number five on this list, and that's going to start off with there is going to be boots on the ground. Finally, we're going back to an old style of Call of Duty. There's going to be no boost jumping, no wall running, uh, there's going to be no sliding, and I think this is going to bring us back to a much slower pace of Call of Duty um, where you're going to be able to better read routes. Um, everybody's going to be moving a lot slower, you're going to have to be able to use uh, cover of the environment um, and this is actually going to change the entire gameplay altogether because sniping I found was a lot different in the newer games because people were moving so quickly um, and it just became a whole different, uh, it didn't feel like sniping to me, it, it really didn't, it felt like uh, you know quick scoping dominated um, and, and just it just didn't feel like you ever could you know set up in a sniping position because people were just moving way too fast. Um, but now with this old style, no no more of this boost shit. Sniping is going to be essential again. There's still going to be quick scoping because I mean that obviously was a big part of the old Call of Duty. People got really really good at it. Um, and I don't know if they fixed that or if because uh, I know the crosshairs. If wherever your crosshairs were is where the snipe occurred. So I don't know how like, I don't know exactly how they're gonna fine tune that, but if it comes back true to its word, true to its uh, its original name, then uh, sniping is gonna be a big, big part of this a lot slower paced game, and I'm excited about that. I'm gonna tie in with number five, no specialists. Thank you. I love specialists. I think they were a, a neat aspect to the game because um, it's another decision that you have to make when you're playing uh, which specialist you're going to use and how to counteract them on the other team, especially in Search and Destroy. Um, it definitely had an element, but finally we're going back to just the one-on-one -on -one gun battles um, and just who's better at actual war gun battles, you know, and this is this is what I thought was, was what Call of Duty was about back then in the day and um, I'm excited for that. So there's going to be no specialists and that wraps up number five on our list of the most anticipated features of going back to Call of Duty for Remastered. Number four on the list, we are going to continue on with the topic of sniping. Uh, the guns in Call of Duty 4 were absolutely amazing. I loved so many of these guns, but of all of them, sniping was the best. And of the snipers, the 
M40 was the go-to for me. And um, the Barrett 50 Cal is in there. I thought that was a cannon of a gun when the game came out. I, you know, I was like, wow, they got this 50 Cal sniper in the game, and and it is a very very good sniper rifle as well. But the M40 seemed to be my go-to in online battles, and I'm just excited for how the game is going back to the slower pace. Uh, sniping and just sniping spots and um, being able to you know stay under the radar and help your team out from a distance is going to be back in the game sniping is going to be drastically different than it is in modern Call of Duty uh, people are gonna get good at quick scoping again but it's just that the style of sniping is gonna be a little bit different and I am pumped about this also on topic with the weapons and sniping because the gameplay is a lot slower um, and you know you can see guys coming from a long distance away and um, it's it's much harder to flank in this game than it is with specialists like overdrive and wall running and boost jumping I am glad that the one hit knife is gonna be back in the game um, I, I've always felt that a knife should be a one hit I mean in real life if you if you are close encounter and you get somebody with a knife you're probably gonna kill them um, and you know it's not gonna take like like a beat down and a knife to kill somebody and I think that was a great part of the old slower paced game right I thought if you could get close enough to somebody to knife them I thought in the old games it deserved to be a one hit kill um, especially in a panic situation um, when you're in tight and someone's about to kill you you get that quick knife off um, and you got the kill I, I thought that was a great part of the game you guys may disagree but I think I'm glad that the slow play uh, Call of Duty is coming back and that the one hit knife is coming back into the game as well um, so starting at number four is sniping and just the return of some great great combat um, style style from both sniping and the one hit melee kills next on the list at number three is of course the maps uh, the multiplayer maps were some of the best maps that I've ever seen in Call of Duty I enjoyed playing Call of Duty multiplayer map Call of Duty 4 multiplayer maps I should say more than almost I think there might have been a Black Ops 1 map that I like uh, better I, I don't want to get into that but the, the maps overall in Call of Duty 4 were amazing and there's some features in the new Call of Duty games that I thought were lost um, in just the map design and then the style of maps and just the features like lighting I, I think were, were you know forgotten about but to start off with the maps let's look at one of the most famous Call of Duty 4 maps ever and that is Crossfire this map is coming back for sure it's been confirmed and it is probably one of my more probably my favorite map in all of Call of Duty it had so many good sniper lanes, so many good routes to get to the other side through buildings where you had to be, you know, skilled around corners, check your corners, um, and it, it, it just was a perfectly built map for all game modes. It was awesome search map, um, it had awesome objectives, um, and just, it was, a, it was a perfectly designed map with that, with that huge lane down the middle. Um, you can see here it's like a highway um, and there were routes outside through the buildings but that that middle highway was just a freaking frenzy for snipers and just it was insane one of the best maps ever made in Call of Duty and I am so pumped that it's coming back I can't wait to see what it looks like in the new render uh, the better graphics and like obviously this is where I'm going to include in number three just the thought that the new render and how the game is going to look on these maps is going to be phenomenal. Um, and I'm glad they chose to remaster this version of Call of Duty because I think it was the best choice for them to remaster in general. And it's going to bring us back to an old style of Call of Duty that we've been waiting for for a very long time. Next on the maps, I, I want to add in Bog. Bog had a very unique atmosphere and it was one of the only maps I can remember you know, correct me if I'm wrong there were probably a few other ones that had some cloudy uh, uh, cloudy atmospheres but on bog it was almost pitch black I mean the only light you had on bog were the burning barrels um, the flaming tanks and this is what provided light in the map and it created a very different style of multiplayer because enemies were a lot harder to see the bus in the middle that you could be in in bog um, people blended in with the bus very very well and it just created this very unique style of multiplayer that I think they lost along the way in Call of Duty because you see I don't remember a map in some of the recent Call of Duties where it was ever nighttime 
Um, and I mean, definitely post in the comments below your thoughts and if you uh, remember a map that was similar to Bog where it was night and we were battling at night. Um, but I thought that was a very, very unique atmosphere and um, not a lot of maps had that and I, I thought that was great. I thought it was awesome and I'm glad Bog is coming back in Call of Duty 4 Remastered. And to leave you off on number three, I'm gonna hope that they add High Rise. High Rise, I thought, maybe not you guys, but I thought it was one of the best maps as well. Um, some of the spots you could get to on the crane, um, the one spot you could jump across to the, um, the broken lift and you could get up onto the side of the wall and end up getting up onto the top of the building. Um, I thought that was <laughs> just a crazy, crazy spot and uh, I didn't think it was all overpowered because to get up there was very difficult in terms of not getting shot on your way up um, and if you did get up there uh, you, you had some very 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 good uh, sniping opportunities and I just thought that map was very very cool overall uh, the helipad in the middle um, and it was it, again it was great for all modes and I hope that they include this in the Call of Duty 4 Remastered as it comes back into the game. Number two on my list is going to be the kill streaks. It's going back to the standard 3, 5, and 7 kill streaks, UAV, airstrike, and the helicopter. And I don't know yet if it's going to be a good thing or bad thing. I mean, people have obviously gotten very, very good at Call of Duty over the years, and I see why they've added the you know the the the, the, the 20 kill streak. Um, and just these higher, higher end kill streaks to balance out uh, the skill of the players as we've as we've grown over the all of the many Call of Duties. So I'm not sure how it's going to play out with the three, five, and the seven. I feel like a seven kill streak is pretty much nothing. But that I haven't tested because we haven't played the old slower paced Call of Duty in a very long time and I'm wondering if just that pace of play is going to be able to balance out these low score streaks. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for those score streaks to be back just to simplify. You don't have to choose anything. You just dive into the game. You get your seven kills. You pop them on and you're ready to go. You keep slaying guys. Um, I'm excited for that simplistic kill streak. Uh, module again and I I'm gonna bring this in at number two on the list because it's just gonna it's gonna provide you know you're not gonna have to worry about motherships you're not gonna have to worry about raps and um, I think it's gonna be a very very great simplistic uh, way of bringing Call of Duty back to doing straight gun battles and not having to deal with all these secondary and um, obstacles and, and things to worry about and it's just gonna be you the gun and your opponent and I'm, I'm glad that is uh, is coming back into into the Call of Duty franchise with this remastered version last but not least at number one is my favorite obviously the campaign is unbelievable but at number one we are going to include a specific part of the campaign that is stuck in my memory since I played it back in 2008 I believe is when I got it but that is the mile high club achievement this achievement goes down in my history of achievements as my most prized possession I remember in 2008 I was sitting there saying I gotta get this thing it was um, one of the most more difficult achievements I don't know how hard it would be now um, like you know that it's been a couple years and we've improved at Call of Duty but back in the day that mile high club achievement was awesome when you played it on veteran with like almost a one-shot kill when you got hit um, it, it felt like you were a soldier. It was the closest I've ever felt to being a soldier in Call of Duty. Uh, you had 60 seconds, you gotta get through two lengths of a plane, and you had to toss strategic stun grenades, pick up new stun grenades as you were going, without losing time. Um, guys were coming at you, hiding behind seats from every direction. Strategic stuns were necessary. You couldn't reload, you had to pick up new guns. Uh, you, instead of reloading, you had to switch to your pistol, and it was just, oh, if you ever wanted to feel like you were an elite soldier, this was the mission, this was the achievement that did it. And I remember getting the achievement, finally completing it, and I was just like, this is the greatest achievement I've ever had. And I'm stoked 
it, they better have it in the new Call of Duty Remastered. I want to have another kick at the can uh, to get this achievement for a second time because it, it was, uh, honest to God, it was one of my most favorite, or sorry, not most favorite, one of my favorite times playing Call of Duty 4 and it was, I spent, you know, I think it was like two or three hours straight. Uh, I just couldn't get the, the routine down, but I finally got it and it felt amazing. So coming in at number one, Mile High Club achievement, and they better have that included in Call of Duty 4 Remastered, or I might be a little bit upset. Well, that's it guys that's the top five most anticipated features of call of duty 4 remastered that i could come up with um and i hope you guys agree if you don't though or if you do just post in the comments below what you thought about these top five um and if my if you had something that you're anticipating for the new remastered game that you thought should be on the list definitely post it in the comments below uh and let me know your thoughts on on the new call of duty 4 remastered and what you're waiting for most in that game and as always guys if you like the video definitely punch that thumb up button and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content we're gonna have more call of duty more doom more diablo content rolling out on a daily basis for you beauties and i just hope you guys continue to enjoy the content because i'm gonna keep putting the content out there for you guys to view so as always guys stay on the bean you do you live life your way because that's the way it's meant to be cheers you beauties Sure it was. Is that okay? Oh shit. Oh.